Hello. Um, this is, would you believe, the fourth attempt that I've made at recording this. For some reason, I just can't think to uh, get this out. Um, so I'm going to keep it very simple this time around. I'm not going to waffle. Uh, I've just read on fire. I've just read Smuff by Terry Pratchett. It's a very good book. You should all read it. The end. Um, it's, it's, we're, get, we're getting close to 40 books now. I think we're something like 37, 36, 37 books in the Discord series. And they just keep getting better and better. Um, this one stars the character of Sam Vimes, Commander Sam Vimes of the Angkor Park City Watch, and he is sent, basically forced to go on holiday. His wife and his boss conspire to get him away on holiday, both for reasons of their own. Um, and whilst he's out in the country, learning to come, trying to come to terms with being out in the country, sort of a lifelong city boy that he is, he discovers a fairly nasty crime. Well, not just a crime of the present day, but a crime going back generations. And essentially what we have is a tale of prejudice, a tale of slavery, and a tale of basically genocide almost. Um, it's very dark, although that seems to be a trend in recent Discord books. Um, but the humour is still there, because I don't think Terry Project can know how to be not funny. Um, If you're a Pratchett fan, you're going to read it anyway. I know that. You know that. Um, if you're not a Pratchett fan, I'd actually struggle to recommend it as your first Pratchett, to be honest. Um, so I don't really know what the point of this is. If you're going to read it anyway, you're going to read it anyway. And if you, you know, if you wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that you start with it. So basically, as much as I love the book, I'm probably not converting anyone to reading it. Um, Bit of a pointless course, uh, but not if you do. I would I would recommend reading some of the earlier Discworld books before reading this one. Certainly some of the earlier Vines books, and you know the internet's not shy of giving you its opinion. We all know that. So just have a have a scout about online. If we've got an idea of the kind of uh, which ones are the more widely recommended. Because, um, as much as the completest in me is screaming at me right now to tell you read the colour of magic and start from there to the first one from 80 whatever you know start from there and read them all uh, i can't in good conscience recommend that because it's a big ask it's 30 odd books nearly 40 books um i can say that if you pick a couple at random from the middle of a series and read them you may well then decide on your own to go back and read them all but um you know, it, it's a big thing for me to say it as well. Um, but yeah, I would certainly recommend Pratchett. I mean, do I really need to recommend Pratchett? You know what I mean? Um, even even people who have never read a book in their life for pleasure know who he is. If they've never read his books, they know who he is. You know what I mean? So. I can't I can't say that this post is having any effect whatsoever. So but anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna I dry mouth all of a sudden. Um Yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. This has been a failure of a video. Um I read the book, I like the book, you should read the book, but only if you've read other books first. It's basically the extent of the post. 
Um, next week on the blog, there won't be a video because I think we've, we've asked the TNT here, we've, we've learned here, but I'm no good at talking about books on video. But um, there will be a post. It will be about the House of Mystery comic, Volume 1, the first trade collection of House of Mystery, which collects the first five issues of the comic, the first story arc. And there will be pretty pictures to look at because the art in it is extraordinary. Really, a beautiful artwork. So I'll be going online, stealing some pictures from various places, and plonking them on the on the blog for you to have a look at. So that even if you don't care about my ill thought out blabberings, you can at least look at the pretty pictures, and that might convince you to buy the comic. Um, so yeah, I hope you come back for that next week, and I shall see you. Goodbye, and I'm sorry for wasting your time because this has been shit.